This video is sponsored by Dello Heavy Duty Lubricants from Chevron. Visit chevronlubricants.com to learn more. Particles, combustion, and lots of abrasion. These were the ingredients chosen to cause harmful wear to your diesel engine. But Professor Corrosion accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction. Chemical S. Thus, sulfuric acid was born. Using its ultra superpowers, this acid has infiltrated diesel fuel and has dedicated its life to corroding your engine. Diesel fuel contains sulfur. It comes from the original crude oil source, and while sulfur is mostly removed in the refining process, you can still find it in the finished product. This is a problem, because after combustion in the engine, sulfur forms particulates that are a primary contributor to air pollution and the cause of harmful corrosion in the engine. After combustion, sulfur from diesel fuel creates sulfuric acid, which causes corrosive wear on the metal surfaces of an engine. Corrosion of a surface within a system like a cylinder wall or liner can lead to corrosive wear, as corroded surface layers can be removed through sliding or abrasion. All acids formed inside the engine can cause corrosion. The risk of corrosion depends mostly on the acidity of that acid measured according to the mixture's pH level. Both the concentration of acid present and the strength of the acids in the mixture will increase the risk of corrosion. Sulfuric acids are one of three main types of acids, one of three villains created by Professor Corrosion, <laughs> that are likely to form in an engine, the others being nitrogen acids and organic acids. It's a strong acid that forms when fuel containing sulfur combusts. When high sulfur fuel is used, sulfuric acids are the most significant corrosive acids. Thankfully, engine oil manufacturers have been creating lubes for years that possess their own set of ultra superpowers to combat this, gained from a complex mix of detergent, antioxidant, and corrosion inhibitor additives. On top of this, regulations to reduce vehicle emissions over the past several decades have dramatically reduced the allowable sulfur content in diesel fuel, leading to what we call ultra-low sulfur diesel. In fact, today's diesel fuel in both the US and Mexico can have as much as 97% less sulfur content than what was seen throughout most of the 20th century. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.